In the news today, the Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, Sir John Cuncliffe, has told the BBC that the dangers of rapidly rising house prices leading to more people taking on higher levels of debt is not just a London problem. Double-digit price rises have now spread beyond the capital. He says that there will be a risk to financial stability if house prices continue to rise faster than earnings, and this will trigger a rise in household debt. High street banks are reportedly using Wonga-style bullying letters to chase customers for payments. Barclays, Lloyds, Halifax, Royal Bank of Scotland and HSBC are among firms who have sent customers letters that look like they are from outside firms, but they are not. The letters appear to be designed to put pressure on customers by making them believe requests for debt repayments have been passed on to third parties. Energy giant Scottish Power and Anglican Water are also using the letters. In property news, questions of asset-rich, income-poor household, households has so far dogged proposals to introduce steeper taxes on expensive homes and has been one of the reasons cited by Conservatives for refusing to introduce such a levy. But ONS statistics reported that only 1% of households with incomes in the bottom 40% had property wealth over £500,000, thus removing one of the major obstacles for the mansion tax.